So I, it, it, it felt like his dreams coming into fruition. Like I could, I could, I could see the joy in his eyes from all of his hard work materializing before me. Uh, and and shortly thereafter, I get a call from my good brother, Dr. James, who uh, we've always been talking about, you know, doing things together. And and he's always, uh, you know. Uh, first in line, whenever we need anything from him, and he said, man, my students need some of them tablets. So I said, okay, well, let me be the bridge. And I, I connected these two guys, and he had the means, and he had the need. I was just the conduit. Yet another student, yet a third. Who's taking it? Oh, you got the phone? Who got where your phone at? Where your phone at? Where your phone at? Thank you. Oh, man, got a film camera. Okay. Yeah. He got the old school. Hey, you got the old school. He got the old school. Oh, got you. Let me, let me get you the link. So I can make it easy to take. You got the Canon AE1. You can see me out here. I got the Mami. I got the Rolls Royce in here. Okay. You got the Mami in here. Looks at the scene. You know? Looks at the scene. What's up, man? How are you? Ready? Here we go. Hip Hop in the States. Go on down here right now. We're at 18 oh, okay. L. Wars and Brown College. And I got T.I. I got my young man right here. And I got E.J., the president of Wars and Brown College. So I want to ask you guys two questions. I see three for this young man, too. So what's so important about this partnership that you got created with you and your talents? And, and why you think it's just another start of something else that can go on with some of the young, some of the young people that can't afford college, but they get in college and have a hard time budgeting and getting funding from their parents? What, this is just the first step? This is just the first step. The first step of many. So our goal is to close that digital divide, make sure that every single person that is on any government program has not only access to good technology, good tablets, but we're going to try and find those partnerships to infuse additional things into them for you. So with our partnership with Morris Brown, I'm sorry, Tip, it's just the first step. Just What's your name, young man? Yeah. Vernell Woods. Right, yeah, Vernell Woods. I, I'm Vernell Woods. And what I'm do you CEO. do? I'm the CEO of Moolah Wireless. Okay. So this is, I, I created it. I created the software. We got the licenses with AT&T. Okay, that's enough, Shad, for you. Let's talk oh, to okay, 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 student. That's enough, Shad. I can't get you. I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask you this. How, how, you, you heard about this, 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 this thing this young man was doing. How joyous did you feel about that young man in his country to be so young? I mean, man, to be honest with you, I've known him for quite some time, and he's been and, you know expressing his ambition but it was it was very aspirational like over the years like yo man I, I created this uh, operating system and he's like speaking German to me I don't you know and it's gonna be able to help people and now we're gonna get tablets and, and then all the way through the years and to him last week pulling up with a U-Haul full of tablets so I, it, it, it felt like his dreams coming into fruition. Like I could, I could, I could see the joy in his eyes from all of his hard work materializing before me. Uh, and and shortly thereafter, I get a call from my good brother, Dr. James, who uh, we've always been talking about, you know, doing things together. And and he's always, uh, you know, uh, first in line whenever we need anything from him. And he said, man, my students need some of them tablets. So I said, okay, well, let me be the bridge. And I, I connected these two guys, and he had the means, and he had the need. I was just the country. So that's why it's so important. Now, you were born and raised in Atlanta and, and, and Georgia, and you see a brother here. So how does it feel like this is collaboration? No one's born here. Yeah. See what Morris and Brown, his here Morris Brown. You got this brother here just making change in it. This is, this is very important right now, very important. I mean, when you ask me how it feel, the best analogy I can give you is when you're in a pool, how does it feel being with? Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell, okay? <laughs> I'm just in it, right? <laughs> so that's how I feel, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where I, I'm honored and, and, and pleased to be able to have an impact, to be, to be of assistance, uh, and to be an asset to, 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 to the community, to this college, to this brother, and to these students. Now, the question goes to you. Yes, sir. Right. So, you're making a change, this whole, you know, just being part of this. Okay. Oh, you're making a change in the school. Yes, sir.
What's your next uh, challenge that you get yeah, challenge you? How do you get more people involved into the technology? Like the people that work that's involved in real estate, or yes. the are they involved coming in to make change? Yes. Yes. They're the next generation. Yes, yes, yes. Right now what we're doing is scaling our academic programs and scaling our the number of students here. In one summer we went from a few students to over 200 students. So we anticipate growth every single semester here. We got four programs, business, psychology, music, and general studies. We're building a hotel here on the campus for our hospitality program. Students will get hands-on learning. We are the first and only HBCU in the state of Georgia with a degree in eSports. We got our eSports lab. We just built it downstairs. And so we just want to scale everything that we're doing here at North Brown College. And we are the most affordable HBCU in the city. So affordable. And the most affordable. My goal is that students graduate with little to no debt. So we are here to serve the community, and we just want to fully restore more Brown College. Okay, more partnerships? Absolutely. How can I get involved? Hey, man, we can, we can talk about that offline. Right. <laughs> right. Y'all stay tuned. Cut the chip. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all keep in hip-hop real estate. Please go see what these young, I'm saying all these young men are doing. That's right. And the truth. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Can I get a drop with T.I. real quick? Yeah, what you want me to say? T.I. hip-hop real estate. You know, hip-hop hip -hop real estate. Yeah, hip-hop real estate. Yes, it's okay. Right I say what's happening, man? T.I.P. the bank head, ambassador King, good man. Let you know right now you watching hip hop real estate. Love, love it, love it, guys. Hey, good to see you again, man. Hey, man, good to see you. What's up, boy? And another one. Yeah, like, the dad told me you was coming. How you doing? Come on, man. Come on, dude, man. Come on, dude. He was in class. What's up, man? There you go, brother. Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, how you how you enjoying the journey so far? Right? I got out enjoying it. You know, God willing, it's gonna take a part. You know what I mean? Hey man, now you gotta do it, believe you can. Believe Let's start one more time, one more pitch. So, can we just make sure they Let's go, what's up? Hey, bro, you got that music, bro. For real. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. I got some. Right. Well, so, yeah, that's crazy. Alright, so y'all, I'm gonna go downstairs and just check it. Turn it out, we good? I just wanna check. Uh, they asked if you guys could come down to the radio for a minute. Okay, let's do yes. that. All of you guys. Okay, cool. These four lovely gentlemen. Let's do that. <laughs> and then while you're there, four students come out and light them up. Okay, right. bet. <laughs> like, pardon me, pardon me, King. Alright. Hey, yeah. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Alright, OG. Alright, now. Hey, man, they say you're kicking the music, man. You OG. know what I'm saying? Oh, no profanity in it. And it's hard, though, OG. With no profanity. It's hard. OG. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, yeah, man, I get with you. No profanity. Dare to be different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm into that. Hey, man, he's got to swim upstream. You know what I mean? Everybody going right, take it to the left. What's up, to me? Stand on a second, ready? Major girl. Does that want to get a background? How you doing? Come on around. <laughs> Yo, right. Tamika on her phone. Like a little, little mama. Like a little teenager. She Tameka. on her phone. Looking at my life. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> little mama. Three, two, one. Hey, 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 hey
So I got my, 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 my lawyer, Jonathan Little, and I said, hey, man, check this guy, right? He ain't believe you. He, nah, of course he I didn't. He ain't believe you. He ain't believe you. Why, why say, should I? You at a bar. I'm just at a bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, the billionaires, you're going to meet at a bar, you know? But, so, uh, Jonathan Little, man, he went and did a due diligence, called up to Georgia, Georgia Tech, because that way he was in school late at the time. And uh, I believe it was the president or somebody in the higher up uh, executive staff at Georgia Tech told my lawyer, say, hey man, this is the most brilliant black mind I've seen on this campus. And at first I was offended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, well, I guess you don't see that many black people to begin with. So, but that was, it spoke so, to right. me. You the one playing the drums. Yeah. That's how I remember you playing. Yeah. Playing the drums well. Uh -huh. Here's the <laughs> What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? I kind of treat you. Hi. Hey, so nice to meet you too, man. Enjoy the journey. Congratulations. All right. Okay. So we got like 40 minutes. You want to rest? You want to Yeah, we can sit down for a minute. Sure. You guys go in the office and I'll come grab you when there's a line again. Okay. Hey, how y'all doing? Oh, it's behind that picture. Did you already get your computer? Yeah, okay, here. Go sign up on here. This is about as Oh, they just got out of class. Okay, they just had a class. Come on. Okay, so why don't we, why don't you do rest? I'll register all of them, and then I'll come to you. Perfect. All right, now. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Is y'all first class of the semester? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me. I'm sorry. To the president suite. Look at this. Church. Listen, God Almighty himself would refuse to allow this institution to close through bankruptcy, through rain, flood, sleet, sleet, rain, fire, arson. Everybody wanted to shut us down. We never shut down. We are back. Over 200 students registered. As of this morning, I think 210, and we're still enrolling students, man. Much love. The hard reset is upon us. We'll holler at y'all later. Yeah. What a time. Hey man, I appreciate this is my little videographer man. Okay. He, he, one of my students man, I appreciate you. And you uh you and, and you was a a, a hundred a president of the hundred black men association. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay then, so you took everything you learned there and brought it to Moore Brown yeah. and used that to get the credit.